I'm out fishing today with Luke Swanson, first time co-host here at Go Angling. We're taking part in one of the best bass bites going in the upper Midwest right now. And the best part about it is you don't need a big boat or fancy equipment to get in on it. So stick around, Go Angling today, James Holst, Luke Swanson. In-depth outdoors, go angling. Brought to you by Gander Outdoors. Oh, there's one. Cool. It's a nice one. Good one to start the day. I blew our chance to start with a double. <laughs> I had him. There you go. Get another one. There's one. Whoop. That's a little nicer fish, huh? Yeah, that's a nice one. Oh, there's a second one with it right here. Try throwing it right at it. He's still there. Got him. Oh! <laughs> we almost made that work. Oh, man. <laughs> and that one's off. Perfect. A little quick release. That was cool though. That was cool. You get a lot of ghost fish like that where they're coming up and trying to eat the lure right out of the mouth or what they're regurgitating. And right. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, but that was a good fish. You got the best part of him too. Right. Trying to get a double and got him up to the boat. Oh, there we go. Got him? Yep. Oh, nice fish. Whoa. <laughs> It knows it wants the current bad. You need a net back there? I got. I think it's hooked real good. I think Is I it? should have okay. this one. Yep. Awesome. I just love it when you get to see him come charge <laughs> like that. Ah. Man, that is a nice fish. There you go. Oh yeah. There we go. Beauty bass. There you go. That one was going nowhere. Perfect. All right. Lots of these. So we're here today fishing with Luke Swanson. He's the owner of uh, Living the Dream Guide Service. And we're out on the upper Mississippi River, just north of the Twin Cities. You know, you don't have to be that far from the shadow of all those big buildings to get in on a great bite. Best part is, it's not big water. Uh, you can do this canoe kayak. We're in a River Pro jet boat today. I'm uh, a recent uh, member of the jet boat family. And that's kind of how I got connected with Luke. Uh, I bought a jet boat. Started talking about it a little bit online. Luke sends me an email and says, hey, we should get out and maybe uh, you know, fish with him and his boat one day, get out and mine the next. And we're just starting to get to know each other here a little bit. Uh, got a lot in common. We both love to catch smallmouth bass. That was cool. Let's do that about 75 more times. And <laughs> right? That was good. That fish ate it right on the scene. What, just a, be what a beautiful it, spot too. Isn't it? Yep. Just a little guy. Well, bigger than I thought. The water's got just enough color to it. When I saw the, the flash, it just didn't look like a big fish, but he's giving me the beans now. Woo! There we go. Super simple presentation. Just throwing a swim jig there. Got a four inch white grub on it, and I'm twitching it. Luke kind of showed me the way, fishing that jerk bait. I was throwing kind of a steady retrieve and just was not getting a response. Started to fish it more like a jerk bait, lots of little twitches and pauses. And then the fish started to respond real well. So here's that bait, quarter ounce swim jig head, just like a little plastic skirter on it like you find on a spinner bait. And just a simple, doesn't matter what brand, four inch white grub. Super simple. There's one. There's a good oh, one. Oh my. Get 
this guy in right away. Nice, beautiful fish. That's what we like to see right there. He came out of that little rock ledge and just pounded it. All right guys, so today we're on the Mississippi River and targeting some smallmouth in midsummer. We're running jerk baits, spinner baits, chatter baits, a little bit of top water here we started out with. We got a little bit lower water conditions than normal, so those fish are up against the bank and pushed out a little bit. And just trying to find them. We just started finding them a little bit deeper now, but they're right up in eddies, rocks, you know, relating really close to structure. So we're keying in on big boulders and log jams and eel grass, anything like that, that'll hold them where bait and crayfish and frogs could be jumping off the bank. So we'll keep after it and see if we can put a really big one in the boat, but we've gotten a bunch of really nice average fish today so far. So we'll see what happens the rest of the day. Oh, there's no <laughs> back to back. Oh, he's coming at you. Oh man, look at him. <laughs> this is pretty special. That's yeah, just such a nice little current seam right off that grassy shoreline there. You get that swim jig up there where it falls right next to the grass and before you can even get the bale closed or the jig coming out away from shore, they can just hit it. There we go. How about them apples? You know, this time of year, bass fishing in the lakes, a lot of places will slow way down. And this is the time of year where things on the Mississippi River or rivers just like it all over the Midwest, they really fire up. Now through basically fall, it's kind of peak time to get out here and enjoy a, a bite like this. <laughs> Vertical jig, if I can make that work. Oh, there's a good one. <laughs> oh, that's a really nice fish. Want me to get the net for you? Yeah, oh. that's a deserving of a net. He's gonna be right down by you here. Oh, I got it. <laughs> That's Look a dandy. At that fish. That's what we're looking for. Right there. Big old smallmouth. Got it on the shadow wrap. Just crushed it. Can't complain about that right there. Look at that big girl. Doesn't get much better than that. That was that's a big fish right there. Yes, it was. Got a nice bunch of nice average fish so far, but. That's the fish we're looking for right there. I got one of the hooks out for you, but didn't get the other one. Perfect. Kind of knotted a little bit. Yeah, we'll I'll tell you what, it's pretty I'll special. I mean, millions yeah. of people right there. Yeah. And to have this quality of a fishery so close to home. Yeah, it's just beautiful. You don't have jet skiers or pontoon guys running around. You're, you know, one of two or three people out here and it's just beautiful. Drift boats, kayaks, yeah. canoes. Just gorgeous. Jig is out. Look at that giant. That is a stud of a fish. You get bonus points for getting <laughs> back here in a flash. Look at that long fish. Beautiful Absolute fish. Absolute giant. <laughs> Love awesome. It. Let's get her back. <laughs> Boy, you know instantly when it's a bigger fish like that, yeah. just the size of the, you know, the mouth coming up and opening up on it. See you later. See you later, big girl. Yeah, that was a nice fish. That was so Congrats. Cool. Awesome. All right, so today I've been running the shadow wrap. It's a great jerk bait that I like to run when we're getting in shallow water, when those fish are up in two to four feet of water and they'll come up and eat it. And jerk, jerk, pause, jerk, pause, let it get real erratic. You can see that fish coming, you can see it eat the bait. You know, the fish is following, you can do a lot of things to make that fish react to eat this bait. So it's all visual fishing, you're able to see that fish hit. It's a lot of fun to fish and fish love it. Fish. Got him? Yes, I do. Oh, nice. It's around something. <laughs> there's a, it is? There's a stick or something down there. Okay, keep it tight, we'll go in. Oh, you dirty guy, you. Nope, you lose, Got him. Lose. Nice. <laughs> nice. Oh, that's a nice fish. <laughs> Come back and get the net. Right under that log. <laughs> in the net, nice. in the net, in the net. Yes, oh, all right. Awesome. <laughs> with that, we're gonna end this day. First time sharing a boat with Luke Swanson, owner of Living the Dream Guide Service. It's Beautiful. not just a title, it's the real deal. Yeah, Beautiful absolutely. fish. Beautiful. 
So this pattern here, bass on these rivers all across the Midwest. We're on the Min or Mississippi River today. Got it. Uh, it's hot here, but it's going to be hot everywhere. Uh, bass fishing can really slow down midsummer on a lot of lakes. Yep. It's just going to just pick up and continue to get hotter and hotter all the way into fall. So if you're looking to get it on uh, a river near you, give it a try. Or if you need a ride, give, give this guy a call. a call. Heck of a good time out here. So thanks for tuning in. We're out. See you next time on Go Angling. That was cool. I thought for sure I was gonna lose that fish. <laughs> awesome. For additional content related to this video, check out these videos. And don't forget to subscribe to In-Depth Outdoors and Gander Outdoors so you'll never miss a new video.